Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with another video blog. One of the questions we get from time to time is what maintenance is required for LZ modular flashlights? Fortunately, very little maintenance is required and what there is is very simple and easy to do. Now, most aspects of maintenance for an LZ modular flashlight are simply cleaning. Your LZ modular flashlight's gonna inevitably pick up dirt and gunk and bodily fluids and who knows what, so you simply give it a bath. And since LZ modular flashlights are waterproof, impervious to almost all chemicals, simply throw it in a bath of soapy water, take a toothbrush, give it a good scrubbing, take it out, dry it, you're good to go. Now, if you're really fashion conscious and you want your LZ modular flashlight to look brand new, here's an insider tip. When the laser engraving starts to get a little dull, simply go to the auto parts store, grab some never dull wadding. And if you've never used this before, simply tear off a little bitty piece. It's pre-impregnated cotton that's got a polish in it and you simply scrub in the logo area several times back and forth and you'll see that logo area brighten up to the way it came when you got it from the factory. Once that's done, Simply wipe that dry, give your LZ modular flashlight a good coating with some CLP or other kind of oil, wipe it all down, and then buff it with a lint-free cloth. And you're going to have this thing looking like it was when it was brand new. Now, in addition to just general cleaning, another thing you want to check periodically are the O-rings. Now, LZ modular flashlights have fully potted electronics, so even if the O-rings are compromised, your electronics are completely protected on an LZ modular flashlight. Nonetheless, from time to time, you're going to want to take a look at your O-rings, make sure there's no cracks or pits or dings or cuts in them. And if you want to replace them all, we make a simple O-ring kit that has every O-ring that we use on every configuration of LZ modular flashlight. So if you get one of these kits, you're guaranteed to have every O-ring you need. You'll have a few extra that you can toss aside. So once you've given your flashlight a good bath, you've inspected and possibly replaced the O-rings, the only other thing left to do is to lubricate the tail cap threads. So simply remove the tail cap, take a rag or a paper towel, remove any residual grease that's left on there, and now use something like a Dow Molly Coat 55 or Frog Lube CLP in paste form and put a nice coat of lubricant, simply use your finger, around the tail cap threads, making sure that you get it on the O-ring there as well, and making sure that this outermost surface remains dry and free from any grease. Then simply reinstall your tail cap, and your LZ module flashlight is as good as new. Fortunately, LZ modular flashlights require very little and very infrequent maintenance. Nonetheless, to keep your LZ modular flashlight in top performance and running as good as it came from the factory, you'll want to perform these simple cleaning, inspection, and lubricating tasks from time to time so you can enjoy the toughest flashlight on the planet for years to come.